folks, and welcome back for another episode of Schwartz's Journey to Legendary. And yes, I am focused this time. We are going on a journey to Legendary. At least we're going to try to. This is the deck that I was trying to run uh, the last video. It is what I call Joe's November deck, and I'm not entirely sure if what he would call it, but that's what I'm calling it for now anyway, because it's November and it's from Joseph. So this is what we're going to run with. It has done very well for him, which puts the a little bit of the pressure on me. So uh, we are just going to see what we can do. Come on, then. Entertain me. I'm feeling pretty darn good, though. I'm not going to lie. And part of it is uh, I'm cool. And I don't just mean my disposition, of course. Oh, that was so, gosh, that was so cringe. Anyway, uh, I, I'm stoked because, uh, as I've alluded to many times, and many of you probably know, uh, I have literally converted a closet into my my space here, which is fantastic. It's nice and cozy. Uh, I would give you the tour, but it it is would be very, very short. Um, but... For whatever reason, even though there's, I mean, there, there's no ventilation. Once I close the door, there, there is really no ventilation. But even if it's freezing cold outside and I have the windows open, the cool air does not find its way in here. So uh, for the past two or three weeks, I have been pretty doggone hot, uh, especially after the first like 10 minutes or so. But right now I've got this cool little, uh, oh, that looks fantastic. Got this cool, um, it's like a, it's like, it's a fan, but it's, it's not just a fan. It's got like a, you put water in it and it's kind of like a, I don't know. I, I don't know what they call it. Maybe like a kind of like a mini swamp cooler, perhaps. Hello there. Go ahead and put our other mournhole trader here. It's always side. a good solid turn two slash one ring thing out. Uh, whew. Tell you what. I don't want to Didn't run the risk of a prophecy they without somebody with something me. else on the board. So I decided to ring that out. Next turn. The moons give this one strength. Okay. So <sighs> let's do it. Orcs are surprise! You are no match for me, Swit. You're so sweet, I could just eat you up. How dare you, sir? You sick, sick man. All right, prophecy there. That's why I waited. It's fine. And tell you what, since this is gonna hit for three anyway, let's do that. Let's see if we can find something useful. And we're gonna let our sweet roll do a little damage there. So anyway, so yeah, I've got this thing, so it's it's not loud enough, I don't think, that it's really overpowering the microphone, but it does certainly allow, and my sweet roll is going to claim a victim. All right, was really hoping they weren't gonna get drained there, they did not. Let's put these juice. Um, so with Steel Sword and Lightning Bolt, both of which we can use next turn, I think we've got this pretty much locked down. It's fine. Your spider cannot hurt me. That? Wow. Okay, now we're at worst case scenario all over the place. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, so now we have to Lightning Bolt here. Uh, that, that's that's Im impressive. I'm not going to lie. That is an impressive uh, ability of our opponent to completely screw us over. That's not quite as bad. That's getting worse. So, yeah. We're just totally getting uh, rebuffed by Dalimar. So many purses. So little time. See what this gives us here. That's a good one. Let's get this out of the way. Five. Um. So we can either play the. Let's tell you what. Let's. All power flows from the gods. The light of the three. All right. Hopefully we can make this final push. Uh, definitely our opponent is putting up quite a, a fight here. 
but I'm cool, literally cool. Very nice to, to not have, like, like being on the verge of perspiration. Looks like we're going to call upon the powers of RNG to see what craziness can be brought forth. Cruel fire bloom, perhaps? Worse would be the thing that- You're so sweet, okay. I could just eat you up. He didn't look particularly taste, tasty, but... All right, yeah, we're still on that. Okay. Not great, but not the worst. This is our forest. Awesome. That's the second time uh, a random thing has generated a wood or a cat hunter that fortunately has not been able to charge. All right, so we're good to go. And as a bonus, this, this fan thingy is actually blowing some decent smelling air. I mean, it's got a filter in it, but like, you know, devices can produce different smells. Sometimes you're like, okay, that's not so bad. Sometimes like, oh gosh. And sometimes this is actually a, a pretty pleasant smell. So very happy with that. And uh, got my eggnog with just a little bit of character, a little bit more character, but love me some eggnog. Favorite drink probably ever. It's the closest thing to a milkshake without having to go through the trouble of a milkshake. Not great for calories. Not great for being sporadically lactose intolerant. Uh, there's some lactose I'm fine with. Straight milk, not great. But uh, ice cream and eggnog, fortunately. I handle okay. All right, now we're gonna go see what Enigma, Edward Enigma. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have kept Queen, but with the ring and, and our Dune Smuggler, we now have a curve we can play into. And I do apologize, not only for just the chaoticness of the last game, Hello there. but also because I was talking in the middle. I, I kind of forgot my rule. Uh, just because I'm trying to be sociable. I smell the stench of the living. See, the bummer with this Dune Smuggler... is that it's only in that lane, so... Oh, crap. I, I think I decided I didn't want to do that. Because that means she's going to be able to hit and get a drain off. Um, you know what? And I'm going to break a rune. Screw it. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Fortune favors the bold. It does not give us, did not trigger a prophecy. We've got our pretty alternate, uh, not alternate art, but the pretty. Just give me a name. Wrong place for a midnight stroll. I will give you a name. And it is um, Mary Beth. Mary Beth, the Blood Brotherhood Slayer. All right, so my question is, do I lightning bolt that to keep him alive? Or do I bear in Zaya? This may be wrong. God, to me. This may be wrong. I want to have that reach, and obviously 6-3 is higher than 5-3, so I, I don't know. I really, th this is a great it's deck. I know it's been, know. Joseph has used it to great effect. I just don't know if I'm doing, if I'm playing it the right way. Oh, that that's unfortunate. You are full of surprises. We have lost. I will be okay. triumphant. Such a great card. Goofy shoes though. I mean, I kind of get it. It's a dragon knight, but I I don't know those shoes just very impractical. All right, so they got all the the stuff. I slay the Not a charge. Should have been there. Screw you, Mundus. Screw you, you ginormous turd muffin. Feel the bite of my steel. Okay, we're just gonna get all the stuff, apparently. Just give me an A. All right, we should be able to close this out with Lightning Bolt and Blood Sacrament. Uh, bad news would be a Dark Seducer. Walk with our Lord. It's nothing personal. 
I feel like we still got this. Oh, duh. Yeah. Took me a second. Sorry, folks. Here I was thinking I was going to have to finesse some stuff and work some stuff out, but luckily we just had it. So uh, it took me a second. I was trying to build up tension. That's it. All right. Getting close to our gateway game. The deck making a great showing of itself. As I said, it, that was never in question. I knew the deck was going to perform well. It was a question of whether or not I was going to be able to steer it in the right direction. When you go, when somebody can go 25 and two with it, I think is the last thing or 27 and two. Uh, it's really hard not to feel like you're the weak link if you don't make it happen. So what we may end up doing, if, if I, if I, if I am fortunate enough to, to break into rank three, I think once I do that, instead of, you know, just kind of futzing around at the lower levels of rank three, I'll, pr there's 13 people online right now. I'll see if we can get some games with them. So it's, it'll be a hybrid, uh, but Obviously, I'm feeling pretty good after two wins, but all it's going to take is is one loss, one uh, assassin. Um, what do you call that crappy uh, market <laughs> for things to go south? All right, good to see Mornhold Trader early on, of course. Ooh, I still think we ring out Mornhold Trader. Kajit is done for. My reputation precedes me. The Sloth of War. I don't know if they're just fed up with Dagoth. I'm always curious when people concede. Oh, that was our gateway game. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll play another one. I, I, I didn't. I thought we were still one away. There, I'm not live streaming, so there's no way. Even if that was a friend, they wouldn't. They wouldn't have known that was my gateway game. So I don't know uh, what went on with Sloth of War. Um, you try not to take it personal, but it also, I mean, that does cast into question, you know, when, when I concede against Invade, I would like to think they would know why, but they probably don't. But at least, but with Invade, it's not, it's not if I see colors that I think are Invade, it's after you play that first Invade card. So, you know, that's why I'm conceding. When people do that, I'm really not sure. Is it just like, they're just like, I like that one day where I was like, I'm so sick of the hand of Dagoth. We don't actually want any of that. Or not Hand of Dagoth, um, the one day where I was like, I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired of Telvanni. Remember I had that spat where I was just like, ah, just because it was like, it felt like 60 to 70% of the game for Telvanni. And it was just so frustrating. So we'll say hello. Um, Greeting, citizen. I'll whip them into shape. All right, so it looks like we've got a race on our hands here. And of course, I should have played Harpy in that lane. That was dumb. Ah, uh, shoot. Do I leave the points on the board? I guess I do. We must keep moving. I didn't realize she became a 3-2. That's my bad. I thought she would just become a 3-1. This one can be counted upon. I'll see you dead. Soldiers, report. All right, so they're getting their full use out of her. I think Earthbone Spinner is going to be the play. I'm not going to trade. Wow. They got... There is way too much... Uh, they got way too much value. will die, shape skin. Out of that fifth legion. The forest will not suffer your presence. Ah. So I may kind of punted this game by trying to race the way I did. We only got rallies going off. Uh, we've ringed out too much. I mean, we can shadow shift. That's not a great play because we're going to shadow shift right into that. This one can be counted upon. You can't well, maybe shadow shift into Warcraft. Do I want to shadow shift her once more? Sure. All right. 
So Hand of Dagoth is going to help us a ton in this race. And happily, we've kind of put our opponent in a little bit of a predicament there. They probably want to take out that 4-3, but then they're going to lose both their, their rallies. But they will get two rallies off. So I don't know. I, I don't feel particularly great about this game at this point. Should have been more. Because they've got enough pretty much on board already to tie things up. Oh, hey, that's nice alternate card art. I haven't seen that before. Oh, that's nice. So all they're going to need is a Divine Fervor. And we're done. That would be, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine damage times two, that's 18. So they've got it. Uh, Face me, you dog. <sighs> so what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I, I don't want to lightning bolt anything. There's nothing worth lightning bolting. So let's just go hand to Dagoth. So we'll see. If they've got Divine Fervor, we are toast. Or Mercenary Captain. Well, Mercenary Captain, they might be one off. Okay, that's not devastating, but it's not great. I'll lead the way. I'll lead the way. Give no quarter. Acknowledge. I hear and obey. You can't defeat me. Into the bridge. Okay. Nothing will stop Khajiit. All right, let's see. We need to do 10. We can't even do the seven we have in hand. We can do Blood Sacrament if we play out Slinking Jackal. That'll give us four. I mean, our only other option would be Crushing Blow. We need him alive. So yeah, let's... Wait. Four, four. Okay, we would have been two off. Alright, again, any buff, we're done. But we do have enough for Lightning Bolt and Crushing Blow, so... Okay, and that's it. Good game. Well, I guess we can try to... Okay, no prophecy. Oh, we'll just let it happen. Ah, uh, that sucks. I don't really know. We don't... We, there's no... I mean, there may be weapons in this board to go wide, but I don't, I don't know of them. Um, like, I don't know if we have... I don't know if this deck runs Ice Storm. Interesting, I'll have to look at that. I wouldn't think so, but that would have really been the only thing that would have helped us and we didn't draw it, so it didn't matter. Moot is the point. They had way too many buff, you know, buff creature cards. That, I mean, I've played, oh, Liana, I, uh, I remember you from the other day. I don't remember if you played somebody that I knew or if I played you. Either way, let's see what happens this time. I hope it's not. I mean, Mage, what are the odds of it being that 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 thing that we don't like to talk about? But I will say hello. We don't have the ring I this time. I think that's the first time today, so a little bit of uh, bonus adversity there. Do we play? Oh, okay. Whew. Thank you, Mournhold Trader. I was going to say, do we play a, shrink a Tempo Shrieking Harpy? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Not too bad. Didn't see this coming, eh? And with Dune Stalker, that's great. I we can get our Mournhold strategy. out of harm's way if they challenge it in this lane here. Doesn't look like they're going to do that, though. So this doesn't buff anything, though, no. All right. So we're just going to... Didn't see this coming, eh? Child's way. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. Okay. I don't, I don't know if Lena is just passing the game essentially or if probably has a crappy hand i mean that's typically the reason there's there's no reason to mm. okay uh i you know at first i felt bad you know i'm like if you have a crappy opening hand that sucks don't feel bad right now do not feel bad at all
All right, so let's put these to use. You are no match for me, Swit. All power flows the gods. The light of this the is invade, three. and they did have invasion party, but I think I think we've got enough to clear it out. But they're just gonna go for rogue. This is what you do. This is it's just like market archer. Just do I have enough garbage in my hand to to pull it out? We'll see. We will see. <sighs> I mean, they're just really banking on those scamps getting all the... Or that, getting all the... Alright, so roll the dud there. And roll the dud there. Ooh, sorry. Thanks for playing. All too simple. Oh, I guess we don't need to do the Surprise. dagger. All right. Sayonara. Fresh off our invasion win, hopping in against Real Disco 40, the God Slayer. Happily, I'm not God, and so therefore I have very little to fear. In theory, in theory, it would Oh, crap, number 77. Well, <laughs> hello and goodbye. I keep a spare blade in my greetings. That's, that's unfortunate. Top 100 player. Oh, wow, we, we are getting uh, the, the amazing draw. I'm not going to call it the God draw, because if I do, God Slayer is going to kick in here, but amazing draw. Amazing draw. How oh, okay. You know what, though? You know what? I've got a dagger for you. The problem is. The problem is. So here's the thing. I could dagger. And um. I just love giving my sweet rolls the sweet taste of revenge. I, I just, I just, that, that, that appeals to me. And I don't really have... Our glory will live okay, so uh, uh, my senses are telling me this is a, uh, a rally deck. Um... Shoot. I want to... Wait. Okay, so hey, I, I need this to come back over here. So we do this. Then we play Bewildering Speed. I don't know if that was right or not. I just, the rally scares me. Now, granted, he got a two rally regardless because I killed it. I just didn't want it to we stay alive. We will protect the Emperor or die trying. Okay. The Nords must take back Skyrim. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. I can sign you to the depths of oblivion. I can sign you to the depths of oblivion. Ah oh, man, I don't know. Approach and be recognized. Screw it. I, I really don't know, to be honest with you. I really don't know what the best thing to do is. Uh, discerning thief, I'm a little nervous about just because there really wasn't anything in hand that I wanted to get rid of. I know you're out there. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a Stay close one. It's gonna be a close one. Get our relentless raider down here. I can take a hit bait like I can you. sign you to the depths of oblivion. Must I do everything myself? Um My paws are quicker. Than I mean, she dies you any which way. We'll just leave it at that. 
We might be able to pull this one off just by virtue of the deck. Okay, so that's where Shadow Shift is going to be good. Alright, so Shadow Shift. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think we got this. Face me, milk drinker. Too slow. Get rid of that. So close. Oh no, he's gonna get. No, he's not. Okay, good. I was gonna say he's gonna get his drain from killing the three one, but three one's still in shadow. So we're. I think we're be we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Stay out of it. At the ready. All right, cool. We got it. All too simple. Game there. All right. Uh, again, uh, th this what you're seeing today is not is not Schwartz skill or sh sh skill. This is this is a crazy deck invented by Joseph. The thing about Joseph is he likes to play off meta decks. He likes to play cards that you don't see very often. He likes to experiment, shake things up, be fun. Have, have you know? He's, he, as he says. The game has pretty much been solved at this point, you know, with, without new cards to change up the meta, with things kind of locked where they are. And his, his phrasing is the game has been has been figured out. It's been solved. You kind of know what works and what doesn't for the most part. So he endeavors to change things up, to to mix things up, and, and to introduce decks and to climb with decks that are not your standard build. But when he gets irked by a uh, uh, proliferate. Uh, pl no, I'm, I don't want to use big words here. I because um, I wasn't going to use them right, right anyway. Uh, by a, an abundance of just hard nosed meta decks, he kind of hits a threshold. And I'm, I, I don't pretend to know exactly what, what goes on, but somewhere he goes, okay, I've had enough of this nonsense, and he concocts a deck like this one that is just absolutely bonkers and says, okay, we'll just we'll just play all the best stuff and uh, you know see who who comes out at the end. So it's for, for the good of the latter. For the good of the latter, I would say you don't you, you know go off meta. Try, try to play play decks that are not the standard stuff because otherwise you will incur Joe's wrath and you will have a, a deck like this in your midst. Um, and I may not even be playing this thing right. I don't know. That that's. To me, very much in question. Poke. Oh, what kind of battle card? Okay. Oh, so and this is a, this is Shadow Scale and Pio. So. Face me, you dog. Um. By RK's stay back. So we are up against uh, Dano's Pelican Patriot, and he's a dot NPO, not a dash NPO. So they're even simpatico in that regard. My hope is next turn that both the three and the two stick and we can put down two relentless raiders and just hack away, but I'll try to draw their fire. Alright, so this is a heavy prophecy deck. We're hmm. Alright, let's play one relentless raider. I have no fear of you, cowardly evil silent. Face me, you dog. Did not hit a prophecy Care there. To make a friendly wager. Um I don't know if that was the right call or not either. I, I really don't know. Clearly, I have no idea what I'm doing in this game. If it's not orcs... No! I mean, I'm glad I, I kept Fingers of the Mountain in that regard, and I'm glad we got our two our draws there. Uh, hmm. So let's go ahead and you hit with this. Alright. Sleeking Jacqueline House Kinsman, I think, are going to be better. 
He's probably going to take out our 2 1. That's okay. Ah, stop it. They'll never get the best of us. We will get the best of you, doggone it. Okay, maybe not. You're eyeing my jackal. I don't like you eyeing my jackal. And our 4 3 goes down. So we've got Bupkiss on the board. Your coin or your life. Oh, Choose. and this Fingers of the Mountain is not going to really help us out. Uh, let's... You are no match for me. So here's the thing. If I Dune Smuggler, I move him over. We get the three points. Let's do that. And he stays in shadow. On ill wins this day. You are no match for me. The is Problem is, okay, we didn't hit a prophecy, but we also, that was the only play we could make. I like it. I'll stand by it for the moment. <laughs> Unless the game goes south on me, in which case I will quickly say that I, I played foolishly. But, okay, so we've, we've got it. We are spotted. Oh, dear. Speak, cool. citizen. All right. This this deck reminds me very much. Remember when I played Telvani? I believe it was Rising Frequencies Telvani. I played that several weeks ago, or maybe it was just a week or two ago. Feels like it was a while ago. And it just seemed like the deck had. It was a well-built deck, and it just seemed like it always had the utilities in hand. It always had the, the pieces in hand to address most situations. And it, now, granted, in that one you were kind of building to your AL guardians and your and your your end game. This one doesn't necessarily have an end game. It does have some big cards on the back end, but it's not it's not like you're trying to get to the end game. You're trying to close games out by you know as soon as possible. Uh, let's get throw back the prophecy. Keep our curve here. We've got the ring. Probably gonna do okay. Starting off, we are probably against Empire. Well, obviously we're against Empire. Um, crap, what is that called? New Era Empire, I, I would assume. So we... I want to be an assassin. No! Like no, I assumed know. incorrectly. So that's going to force us into the shadow lane here. We're going to say hello. Hello there. And we're going to run away from her. Of course I'm now we know that, of course, that they're running... They could be running the same green shadow shift cars. We are... I'll find you the finest recruit. All right, so it looks like they are... They are interested in racing. Care to make a Oops. Wager. I hate to do that. I hate to do that. Probably should have just played her instead. But come on, what are the odds? What are the odds they don't have an answer for the fourth? Feel three? the might of the empire. Keeping fingers of the mountain. Standing by. I will have my. Stay vengeance. out of my lane. You stay out of my lane. Darn you, Wily Kiva. All right. All right. So. Surprise. You bet on the wrong side. Um. They cannot hope to outwit me. I don't. I don't. Entertain hope that they don't have a way to take out Mournhold Trader. Maybe they don't. But I feel like they've got a buff or something, some way to do it. Things are going a little too Move well. Aside. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Feel the might of the empire. All right, so yeah, uh, things are looking pretty grim here. I think they think they're going to race us, which uh, is not entirely out of the question. Didn't see this coming, eh? Child's play. So do I. You are no match for me, Swit. Um. My vengeance. All right, and that actually uh, might do it for us, unless they have a drain, or unless they can buff this board. That's six, eight, eleven. They're counting just like I am. Fifteen, sixteen. They need seven more damage. If they can get that, if they have a if they have a massive buff, one, two, three, four, five, still won't be enough. So he may have just pulled this one out. 
because I don't think they can. I, th I think they're going to be just one or two short, even with the hand buff. Not, not a heal. No giggles. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Wait. That's also good. Okay. Woo. Good game. A fine display. Uh, they were racing a Sevy uh, with, without some, again, I mean, you just saw it. There was the utility there to be able to sacrifice the, the dude, the 3-2 dude, and the, um, oops. The, I think he's some kind of kinsman. I can't remember his name, but sacrificing him with that blood sacrament, like it was enough to swing the, the health enough in our favor that they couldn't make that final push. I'm guessing they probably had like a mercenary captain or something in hand to buff everybody plus one. And we got just out of that range with just the synergy between those two cards. It really, again, it's a very well put together deck. Uh, wouldn't mind riding it all the way to rank two. That'd be kind of fun to do in a video, but uh, we're up against rank one in the thief. He's making his push as well. I mean, we have had the ring. Got, we got to keep in mind, I have to keep in mind when things are going this well, like what is getting us there? Whereas yesterday or the day before yesterday was a completely unfavorable day on the ladder. I shouldn't say yesterday because for posterity, nobody knows what that means. Hello there. This oh, ring praise to you. But we've had the ring for most games. We've had a great curve, which I don't know if that's purely a function of the deck or if that is... We're not gonna shift. Don't underestimate me. Now it's good. By the Lord, Mother and Wizard, I see their strategy. I will have a uh, Let's show light on the problem. See, if they had the ring, he goes down. Uh boy. You are no match for me, Swit. So she'll take this out, and Lightning Bolt will take that out. But we are still doing damage with it, and we are healing. So if they are an aggressive deck, which I, I'm not, I'm, I'm guessing they are. But with her, it's kind of more of a mid range, I think, cunning ally. But we'll see. We'll see in the next Your couple turns. But that's the great thing between Watch those characters. Oh boy, yeah, that's that's the pivotal. I have that's a, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Unfortunately, we need a solid, a really solid card to play next turn. And I keep a spare blade in my boot. All right, so I think they're pretty aggressive as well. All right, that's kind of what we wanted. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. Yeah. Oops. Face me, you dog. Do your worst. All right, so that's good. We aren't we aren't going to be wanting for cards. Dog, I have you now. Ooh. Uh. Hmm. I don't want to give her another lightning bolt, but the lightning bolt won't. Uh, the thunderbolt. Whatever it is, won't kill her. That could have been a mistake. I mean, we saw... Yeah, no, you're welcome. Uh, maybe they have two of them. Oh, okay, they have that. All right, cool. So, yeah, that probably was not a smart play on my part. And, I mean, we've just got a bunch of... A very clunky hand here right now. That is the dream. And unless they've got a Fell the Mighty... That's going to be a huge, huge factor in the coming turns. I'll get this yet. I have you now. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Do your worst. I'm guessing they have a harpy for him as well. No. Okay. Ooh. Good synergy there with her, unfortunately. Oh, but they... Not my strongest Yeah, move. they, they, uh... Wow. All right, so... I feel like Relentless Raider wants to come down here. 
Steel Sword, Dune Smuggler, maybe, to get rid of her. I don't know. I can take a hit bait leaking like you. All right, they got a prophecy as well. That's not good for us, clearly. Yeah! Probably shackling him down, yeah. All right, so we can do... Hmm. This is going to be pretty close here. I don't know the Dune Smuggler is going to be the right call. Hmm. Especially if they have rapid shot. We must keep moving. Get that one point of damage in from our. Yeah, and then we've got seven in hand. I mean, obviously they've got a board, so it's not like they're gonna turtle up and uh, not do anything. But they do have to be very careful. They, they have to take out hand, I think. I mean, that's what I would do. Either way, it's pretty well played with Andrew Fox here. The, the only mistake was, and I've done it before, you've seen me do it, is play that Alfique without having a uh, card in the discard. And that's, that's always, that stings quite a bit. So it just really depends on how much Andrew Fox has in hand, uh, how much removal. If he's got lightning bolts, thunder fire bolts, this gets pretty messy. All right, so he's he's got a way to remove it apparently. Underestimate me, face me, you dog. The forest will not suffer your presence. Okay. If if they can't get rid of her or guard up. Behold, my magnificent. All right, we got it. Just enough. Face me, milk drinker. Whoo! Just enough. Just life. enough. All right. So I think I think we'll just ride this. Well, I don't know. I want to say until our first loss, which I know sounds kind of cowardly, or not cowardly, but like. Well, why don't you just keep going? I don't know, because I'm also like, okay, maybe we should show some other games. Okay, well, I've only, there's only, well, no, there's 10 people online now. Like, I always want to show other stuff. I don't want to, like, as much as possible, I want to show other people playing. I want to show other decks and not just make it a, a one, a one note show here. Like, you've seen what this deck can do. Uh, even, even somebody like myself is able to pilot with, uh, even with bumbling, perhaps, is able to, to get some good results out of it. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll just see how it goes. Bar... Barbadovar. Barbadovar. It's a fun word to say, if I may say. Barbadovar 80. All right, I guess all that looks pretty good, actually. Again, against another uh, rank one. Apparently, there's no rank two or three players. They're all rank one or legendary. Such is my burden. But I got to I gotta try to be mindful because this is probably orc aggro. More than likely, in which case I need to be... Be very cautious. But I do have my play. Crown Quartermaster. Hello there. This might be handy into Discerning Thief, into Sentinel Reclaimer. And we'll see how we get on. I, I, I hope, right now I'm hoping they play over I there, okay. Oh the no! No, 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 no. That is not what I want to see. Ah, oh, boy. Do your worst. My paws are quicker than your eyes. I am gonna Dune Smuggler her over here next turn. I think. Wrong place for a midnight stroll. 
because I don't know that we can race a two three this whole this whole game. I don't think that's gonna work for me. Don't underestimate me. So. I'm giving her the dagger because if he's going to trade with it, I want it to be... Clear out. Too slow. I, I want him to... I want him to get value if this is going to be a trade. I want I want him to... I want, I want the mammoth to go away. I don't want the elephant in the room. I'm tired of elephants in the room. Alright, looks like he's going to go face. I RK speared. This day will be mine. Which I gotta trust. I gotta trust the deck. I gotta trust the deck because I know we've got drain in here. I know we've got a lot of ways to come back from that. So let's uh, let's do Sentinel Reclaimer. Well, let's Two. see if we can find something useful. Oh no, we hit a prophecy, or I don't know. Oh, that's great. Let's get rid of the dagger. We do not hit a prophecy. Ready for you. We do hit a prophecy there. That's gonna hurt us quite a bit. Cause this is this is way too way too tightly contested for what they have on board. Prophecy is that that could really make or break the game. Where we have to hope we draw into some of our drain or life gain to turn the balance, because they definitely have the advantage. Uh okay. Don't know what happened there. Alright. Of course I'm on your side. We can do right now seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen. So really, it's going to depend on what they play here. All right. That is a great pickup. Ah. Uh, do you not fear me, Okay. Well, changes the landscape a bit. I think hand is going to be too slow. We're going to take five. That's pretty much going to do it. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much screws us. Unless we steal sword, kill. All right, let's let's. I'm just going to play as we figure this out as we go here. That's that's three. Yeah, three. I'm ready. Take for that. You. We go down to eleven. Didn't see this coming, eh? Let's put these to use. Probably should have played Relentless Raider there. I have to do this. Oh wait. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Time to move. Your coin or your life. <laughs> All right, if they can't finish it here, which I'm not confident is the case, I mean, if they have another sower, then we're pretty much done. Confound you! Clear out! Is it sower? It's sower. Of course. One person's trash is another's trash. All right. What can we do? Oh, that is probably going to be awesome. All right. So surprise. Four. That should do it. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. Spill your blood. Your no, no. If they take out the three-two. I am ready to join the circle. Oh my god, palms were sweaty on that one. Oh my goodness gracious. 
Oh, okay. Okay, that was... <laughs> All right, so this will be it. Uh, we either win and break through, or we take a loss and say, okay, we've, we've played a hot hand, we've come out good. Uh, we're gonna, we'll, we'll step back a little bit and let some other folks shine. Uh, there's still 10 folks playing, so we should be able to jump into their games. Honestly, I mean, it would be crazy to end having climbed two ranks with this, but uh-oh. Uh-oh, possible mirror match. Possible mirror match on the gateway game. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, we just got a comment that it was a very close game. Nail biter. Yes, yes. I bit through my nails. Hello there. All right. We we have another curve. We have a curve. Let's see if we can pull this off. Everything was taken from me. Today, I'm today in kind. Not looking great. Careful there, friend. Face me, milk drinker. Not looking... Not looking terrible, not looking great. They've got a rapid shot. Out of my head. Okay. Alright, yeah, so this is definitely mirror match type shenanigans here. I will have your head. Um Face me, milk drinker. <sighs> my paws are quicker than your eyes. All right, let's see what we got. Trying to keep focus, trying to keep a good... I knew it! I, there, was, there was a part of me that was like, I bet they've got a freaking... Ah. Uh. All right, so... Face me, you dog! Trolls take you! That's not great. Put it over here, put it over here. Clear out. Nope, not great. And, okay, luckily that does not. The Night Father will guide us. Do we have, we do have, no. We do have, a, we have Discerning Thief in the Graveyard for Enraged Dragon Knight. We need a weapon for this guy. I can take a pit bait oh boy. Like you. I think they're going all in. The forest will not suffer your presence. That's most unfortunate. That's helpful. It's really helpful. Um Triumphant. Oops. I have you now. Oh. I will have your hit. All right. We don't have a way to finish it off right now, unfortunately. But we have kind of tied things up a bit. Mm. My pores are quicker than your eyes. That's lethal, right? Oh crap. Um, so we've got to do so that's three, five, eight. Yeah, that's more than enough. Time to move. Your blood. Oh crap. That was dumb. Seven, ten. I, I mean have your hit. Wait, is that going to kill me? 8, 9, 10, 12. What, what are we going to guess that they have... Well, can we win next turn? Without it. I don't think we can. So that's 7, 10. If I do this, it deals 2 damage to us. Possibly triggers a prophecy. Other option is Altmer and Doonstalker. That's 3, 6, 9... 12. Okay. Time to move. Nope. Everything is taken from me. Today. All right. 
Oh, I forgot about that one too. Okay, so that might have killed us actually. And that'll do it. Good game. I'll just let him finish it off. Daggone it. Yeah. Just enough. Mm, I'll give him a good game for that. Ah, that's frustrating. Thought we had that one. Or thought we could have pulled that one out, really. Um, tell you what, go to go for two in a row. Let's see if we can. I don't want to. I don't want to retire for the day on a loss. Two losses. That means we're losing traction. One loss just kind of means, hey, it was another Dagoth deck, and without that harpy, we win. Unfortunately, I now arguably I could have played. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if you trace it back, there's you could look at any particular turn and say you should have traded there, got rid of this. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's hard because at this point I can't really learn anything from it because I don't remember. I mean, I just feel like there was you could have said, oh, you should have gone on the defensive earlier on, and I don't know. I, th I think it could have gone either way. That mace, that mace on turn four was a big deal. Uh Let's hold on to these. Hello there. Say hello. We do have a nice discard for our corner club in the Crown Quartermaster's Dagar. Keep a spare blade in my boot. All right, so corner club next turn. We have the ring, so they would have to have a crushing blow, or ah, uh, they may have it. They may have it. Do unfortunately. Um, they can't really charge us. So. Care to make a friendly wager? Ah. <sighs> Channeled Storm, that's what I was thinking of. Okay, we got very fortunate. They did not have Channeled Storm. Or, yeah. All right, so here's the question. Uh, do we Dune Smuggler and then Bewildering Speed? Sure. That should be fun. There are ill winds this day. Unfortunately, it means that both of them are going to trigger a prophecy, so... I'm ready for you. I mean, that's a great way to get started, though. Uh, Edict of Azura... Sucks, but... Time to move. Time to move. Do your worst. For goodness sakes, okay. Alright. Okay, sweet. I don't know why I said for goodness sakes there. For some reason I was thinking they had played more than they had, but clearly they were they were done with what it is. Okay. So here we go again. Trying to push that through that gateway. Hopefully it's another, not another, I mean, it, mirror match doesn't really matter. It, it, the mirror match is not the problem. It's, uh, it's my nerves being shot. All right, so we're up against Telvani. We will once again try our luck with Corner Club. And in theory, Sentinel Reclaimer. That's not what we wanted to see there. We will say hello. Hello there. Please. Nothing. That's not cool. Not against a control deck. Why? Mournhold, you turd muffin. Of course I'm on your side. You're one turn too late, my friend. I will keep Sotha Sil's people alive. All right, so let's go ahead and shadow shift. Yeah! Right, so 
Reclaimer. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. Into Corner Club next turn. Let's put these to use. Care to make a friendly wager? And let's go ahead and time to move. All right. The hist provides. Mm. <laughs> Question is, fear totem that? Bewildering speed. That's that's a nice one. And then, goodness gracious, there's a lot we can do here. But I need stuff to survive. Uh, Crown Quartermaster or Black Hand. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's so much to do. Let's Crown Quartermaster. Your coin or your life. <laughs> Bewildering speed. Didn't see this coming, eh? You bet on the wrong side. That sucks. Okay. Uh, and. Spider. No, okay. So I think we just win. Oh no, crap, we're one off. Wait. Yep, we're one off. Oh boy. I, I misplayed that. That was dumb. Didn't see this coming, eh? <sighs> boy, I blew that. You know what, though? Because if we can kill Black Hand Messenger without them draining, we're good. That's fine. I will spill your blood. No! Oh my gosh! Of all the crap, man. Ah, uh, this game. My storm is not good. All, all this is I mean, we, we're two turns away from Tazcat. Tazcat is our Tazcat is our winner. We just can't have them drain. You must be cleansed. That's fine. That's fine. The hold. The hist provides. I smell. Oh, okay. Well, that made my choice pretty easy. Oh. Try some. Razzle medazzle medazzle medazzle. Okay, there we go. Rank two. So, one hour, we went from the, well, we weren't at the bottom of rank four, but we were two or three wins away from rank four up there. Uh, I will be putting the, the, I believe, I believe, because I asked Joseph beforehand if I could put the deck list in there if you all want to climb with it, and I believe he said okay. I will double check with him because, as you saw, in the wrong hands, that could be very powerful. As promised, because we were able to climb so quickly and so swiftly and so effectively, we are switching over and we're going to watch some other folks play here just to kind of round out the video, maybe uh, get uh, two or three games like this and see what's what just so that you're seeing something a little bit different uh, and i've 
frankly got a nosebleed from all that climbing. <laughs> oh, hey, okay, again, really bad joke, apologies. I smell the stench of the living. I did, I did watch Adventure. I came in like at the very end of one of his games. He was playing this cool warrior deck uh, that he had uh, the Kine Reeve, the four threes that deal damage to face comparable to damage that they receive. Uh, it looks a little bit like my, my Doomsday deck. I don't know that he was running Red Year or not. Anyway, uh, but I came in at the very end, and so I wanted to see if I could jump in and catch him early on. I'm hoping for, uh, like to see Adventure get to rank four this season. I don't think he's done that just yet. But it'd be nice to see, see it happen because then he doesn't have to fall all the way back down to uh, to rank nine to start the seasons off. So uh, it's good to see him on ladder. Adventure, great to see you on ladder. Good to see you playing. We'll see how things are going to pan out for you here. Uh, Fact Rock. Fact Rock, interesting. Running a card that has not seen the light of day in generations. Activate uh, Elixir of Light Feet. So what we might be seeing from Fact Rock is the, you know, um, kind of a what you see with a lot of new players where you're just kind of getting a, a hodgepodge of cards. Uh, or it could be a strategy. You never know. I don't want to sell them short. Uh, Adventure definitely running a lot of cycle cards there. Discerning Thief, Ring of Imaginary Might. I'm guessing Ring of Imaginary Might is key to what he's doing here. So yeah, we, we didn't see that booted out. My paws are quicker than your eyes. And Discerning Thief. What is she pilfering there anyway? You have met <gasps> I guess it's filled with something cool. Yeah, I don't know. She's discerning. I'm not. Follow me, man. Cool little effects there. I mean, it could have played in the shadow lane too. Wouldn't have been the worst thing. Okay, so this is this is a naughty deck. This is this is the um, burn siege crawler, ring of imaginary might, and bones. Whatever it's called, um, something I bones, so and it's pretty much an o any, any creature on the board is pretty much an OTK, especially now that he's got Fat Rock down to 18. So he's really hoping for that one card. He's going to be able to get well, no, nope, not next turn. He will be able to get Wild Incarnate value, probably, based on how this game is going so far. I don't think Fat Rock is going to be attacking face. Is Bone armor, that's what it's called. He's got so he's got two pieces. I mean he could win it with Galen right now if he draws that. Oh no, never mind. That's the one thing this deck doesn't have is breakthrough. So have to be careful. We know uh, Serial's gonna hit face to 33. She's probably gonna want to hit face. I think he'll have enough for Wild Incarnate to get two. Uh, to draw two cards. So probably Palace Conspirator. And unless it's something better than Ring of... Uh, the worst case would be if it's uh, Bone Armor. Well, no, I guess that wouldn't be the worst case. Play... I should be your eyes and ears. Okay, that's not... You can get rid of that one. Yeah. Interesting. I'm not sure why he didn't. Uh, maybe just didn't want to give him a card. But now she, well, she, yeah, no, she can't really trade with anything either. But you don't want that guard there, and the the conspirator can't remove it. That's all right. That's all right. I I, I don't pretend to know to know all. See, and I, I'll tell you right now, it's getting very warm in here. I can feel it. But this little guy over here, I think, is like about this big. It's keeping me cool. Well, it's keeping, it's kind of keeping me level. This is about bearable right now. And he'll use the other one. All right, so he will drop down Wilds Incarnate, draw two cards, and I'm guessing we'll see Wilds Incarnate in the shadow lane. Ooh. Okay. I thought he would do that to keep to deny Serial her her. Uh, Go get them, Skywag. 
her abilities, but what he really needs is that bone armor at this point, because the board is kind of turning against him a little bit. The Ring of Imaginary might just kind of click up his hand. Odor and Necromancer is going to be able to bring back Harpy, Conspirator, Barrow Stalker. Oh, he's got quite a few options there. Portcullis, if he really wanted to. But I probably not. Well, he definitely always doesn't want Siege Crawl. Well, he couldn't draw back Siege Crawler. Anyway, but. I'm the treasure guessing ours. probably a Harpy. No Harpy. Really depends. If he's going all in on the. I wonder if he runs the blacksmith so that she can tutor out that. Not that blacksmith, the other blacksmith. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Is Fakrock going to be able to win next turn? I mean, he quickly... All right, so luckily Adventure is, can get rid of the 4-1, the Bannerman. Give us some Nords, you're the Bannerman. Give us some Nords tonight. Give something, 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 something. Right, and it's time to fight. <laughs> uh, maximum effort. Okay. Uh, where did he get rid of? Oh, oh, yeah. So he didn't. Huh. I think they've got enough on board, though. Eight, nine, twelve, eighteen. Yeah, they have. Well. Yeah, they have lethal. They've got lethal with the Nord Fibers. Okay, he does have Crucible Blacksmith. That's the card I was thinking of. Uh, it's going to come too late, unfortunately. Uh, good game, Adventure. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's it's an ambitious deck to run, for sure. Fine, GG. All right, we are jumping in with Brave Karyad Friends. I, I just knew that we were going to be able to catch her at the beginning of a game, and I know she's running fun stuff, and... She is. We must where's steadfast. where's the? Okay, well that's good. He's good. I'm just wondering where the uh, the scamps are. I'm, so I'm guessing slash hoping she's running scamps. But boy, this would be so sweet to see. I have no fear of you, cowardly schemer. I mean, the, the Tuwaka watches over me guy, uh, what is it? Black Withered Hand Cultist or whatever. He's fantastic. So let's, let's just hope that Cytex Walmart can go down. I don't know if folks in Europe know what Walmart is or have a Walmart equivalence. Let's do this. Time to fight. That's a promise. So it comes to violence. Nothing will trace back to us. Wait, how did wait, what does he do again? Oh, actions. Actions cost two more. See, and that's where there we go. That's what you want to see. Eat bedeviling scamp, side tech. Yes! Yes! Do the thing, Brave. Do the thing. I'm remaining completely impartial. The Deviling Scamp. Awesome. They cost three to play. You can't play any of them. Yes! Oh, oh, I was going to say, if we could just get another one, that would be so glorious. Uh, the only bummer is she's kind of hosing herself uh, with the lightning bolts there as well. But Blood Sorceress, she's going to trigger next turn. I think she triggers on turn seven. Yeah, so that's that's five damage there. Nicely done. Okay, so I took me in a good sport about it. Yes, Brave! Yes! Already, I think what's going to be our last game of the session, we are checking out Swizzlewood. And Swizzlewood, I do apologize. Uh, he had, he had uh, wanted to play against me in a game, and unfortunately I was doing i think i was doing the tournament or something and so we weren't able to to get a match but uh swizzlewood running a singleton dagoth which is fantastic Beware my power. always fun to see those and dagoth again arguably has the best you typically see singleton in 
uh, not tricolor, well, tricolor dub, but, um, what, what the heck is it called? The, the, not Telvani, the other one, Tribunal. For the longest time, you'd see it in Tribunal, because they also have a lot of great one-ofs, but I think, I think Dagoth takes it, and we've got Daddy here in hand there, too. I didn't even notice that, because I was flapping my gums. All right, so this game is far from certain at this point. As Morphalin, 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 I'm guessing, he bought the ground. has plenty of cards in hand, and uh, as long as okay, I was just about to say as long as um, so we're of so we're of swords, sword, sword, gardener swords, gardener swords on the board. There's a lot of danger, but fortunately Swizzlewood had the answer. Only one of, and next turn we'll either see. I'm guessing. I'm guessing we'll say we'll see siege. He, he he rightly identified the danger of leaving that on board. The temptation might have been to play. Wait, yeah, might have been to play siege on turn ten on curve. How great would that be? But I think he saw the perils of of leaving the gardener on the board with all the. May you also walk on warm sands. Uh, it's probably meant to be a gentle reminder uh, to play, but we got to remember. We got to remember sometimes, especially if combo decks. We got to remember that sometimes it is, it, it, it's you know somebody's not necessarily roping. They're trying to sort out. Okay, what do I got to do first? What do I got to do second? How do I survive this turn? If it's hard nosed aggro, yeah, it probably probably don't need that much time. But I mean, we, when you've got camels involved, as soon as you've involved camels, it's. There, there's some mental shenanigans afoot here. But yeah, as Morphlin so far has not really introduced... He wants, he wants to keep his draw engine alive. And he's got another one. All right, so he's going to be able to really... He's really trying to... I don't know how he's alive at this point, to be honest, because with, with that, with, if that's your board, it's a camel and two graybeard... Dweebs, studious graybeards, nerds, um, <laughs> with, with zero attack. Uh, it's in a precarious situation, but we could see it turning. It does have a nice bit of cards, nice thanks to that. I mean, this is just a draw deck. Is this maybe, like, I know there's a um, a daily quest, you know, draw X number of extra cards. I almost feel like that's what this is. But, you know, this is ladder, not casual. Although I do know a lot of people prefer to do their daily quests on ladder instead of casual. I don't. I don't like that pressure. I want to get my daily quest done nice and clean and casual where I don't care if I lose the game or not as long as I get my daily quest stuff done. Play it on the ladder, it's, it can be better. But, uh, I mean, this is just... This is just draw central. Anyone have a dry erase board? Because he's drawn all over it. By the eight, I don't know why. M many of you are probably going... I really don't want him to uh, to win any more games because he has. All right, well, hasn't shown the best targets. Razzle Medazzle, though. You won't leave Stick tooth necklace. Sure, I mean these are all great. Sometimes on. Uh, this, oh goodness gracious! Do you? I think you hold on to that. There you go. Razzle dazzle. What the heck is that? Is that is that just a horse? I can't see. It looked like a horse, but it had a human head. I don't know. I think it's called a centaur. But all right. So with Daddy Ur next turn, really doesn't need a whole lot to connect. But Morphalin, with all the draw and what we've seen before, could go off this turn. Stay on the mark, I just don't know if it's going to be... I mean, it's a lot of magic, a lot of cards. So the question is, can he make it big enough and can it attack? Because what's his face? The Gardener can get huge. But that doesn't necessarily mean that there's other ones will. But remember, we saw at the beginning of the other game, not too long ago, we saw Frequency Rising, I believe. Uh, doing something like this and saw the synergy that Found comes out, with these cards and uh, in the ability to heal like if they're running this the helmet oh 
is oh, and engaging. This might do I mean, that's oh, and there, there it is. We're seeing it. Oh no, Swizzlewood. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't, I don't think he's lost though. I don't think he's lost because they can't attack. Life in this old thing. Yeah. Oh, overdrew the shackles. That he needed those. Now he has just overdrawn everything. He needed those shackles. That, that's it. That's it. Swizzlewood will pull this off. Had he not overdrawn those and been able to shackle twice. Nah, uh, Swizzlewood, you're good. And he's he's out of time now. Wait, is it just gonna keep going? Like the timer's thing. over, or is it? Is this an autopilot now? Just gonna burn. Out of guards. All right. Interesting. Glad we caught that. <laughs> And that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap it up today. I hope you enjoyed the videos. We got to see some really cool stuff. Uh, got to see a very quick ladder ascension and then some really cool games. We got to see Market taken down by the Bedeviling Scamp. And we got to see, I haven't seen a card overdraw or draw itself to death in a very long time. So that was kind of a nice treat to see. And that's kind of the best case scenario is to see a combo go off and have it not kill you. Uh, so yeah, it was a little bit of a close call with those Maces of Encumbrance getting... Uh, overdrawn at the at the last minute there but anyway uh great games i had a lot of fun today obviously it's easy to say that when you go i think we went 11 and 2 or something like that um but it's always nice to have one of those especially after we saw the ladder kind of doing everybody dirty the other day so anyway hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you next time until then keep playing